my loves, my name is Gina. Welcome to your love reading. So I hope everyone is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. Um, guys, if you are interested in crystals to heal and clear your chakras for anxiety, depression, insomnia, you can visit Kim K Crystals. The link to her website is below. Um, she does live crystal sales on Facebook. Those events are a lot of fun. She gives a, a bunch of stuff away and I choose winners for free readings at those live events. Um, so if you'd like to check it out, the, uh, Facebook link is below. Okay. Um, what else? Special shout out to Juju at Lunar Logic Tarot 1111, Owl Tarot, and Distilled Tarot. Um, the links for those channels should be in the description box below under recommended readers, okay? Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. <laughs> I do choose multiple winners every single month. Um, I give away a bunch of stuff in the description box below. You'll see a whole list of everything that I give away. Just go ahead and hashtag in the description box, in the comment section below, excuse me, what you would like to manifest or win for the, um, the giveaway. Okay. And don't forget to click that notification bell. So you know when my readings post and you know when the winners are announced. All right, let's get started. All right, my beautiful loves, let's see what we have here today for my Cancer babies. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my beautiful Cancers, please. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful Cancers, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful Cancers, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. What does Cancer need to know today, please, Spirit? What does Cancer need to know today? Well, okay. All right. So we have the Hanged Man, Piscean Energy. We have the Eight of Wands in the reverse. We have the King of Swords in the reverse. <clears throat> We've got the Four of Pentacles. We have the Five of Swords. And we have the Nine of Cups. Under the deck, we have the Six of Pentacles. So, Cancer, please understand that this can be energy in or around you. So, it could be your energy. <clears throat> or it could be the energy of someone around you. This could be something that your sister is going through, that your brother is going through. This could be the perspective of your person, okay? So just keep that in mind when listening to a reading, okay? All right, guys, take what resonates and leave the rest. So with the hanged man and the eight of wands in the reverse, um, the king of swords in the reverse and the four of pentacles. I feel like someone here was playing some form of emotionally abusive game or mentally abusive game. Someone here likes to disappear for a little while. Okay. They like to disappear for a little while. They like to sabotage for a little while, and then they like to come back. This is a form of abuse that this person has taken on for a long time. Okay. With the hanged man, they're like, I'm not going to talk to you until, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you realize what you did wrong, or I'm not going to, you know, like, it's like a silent treatment. They don't pursue, they don't chase, they kind of stall everything. They keep everything to themselves. It's a very selfish, greedy attitude. And then with the five of swords and the nine of cups, I feel like they come back around with the mind games and like they come back to make you happy. Do you see what I'm saying? They come back because they know you want them to come back or cancer. I don't know. This is something that you could be, uh, you know, doing to someone else, but there's a sense of giving love and taking it away as a form of abuse to get someone kind of like addicted. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, if you hear toys squeaking, that's buddy playing with his, <laughs> with his dog toys. Um, so, okay guys. So it's, it's, it's like this energy of, I'm going to give you what you want with the nine of cups. And then I'm going to take it away because I'm going to sabotage it. I'm going to tell you what you want. And then I'm going to sabotage it and make it explode. You understand? It's like this ugly, let me give it to you. Let me take it away, you know, type of energy. And that's where we see the six of pentacles, um, an energy of maybe breadcrumbing or giving generously and then taking away see we have the devil and the magician under the deck you see someone here um 
is either could be doing black magic or wishing bad. Um, but moreover, I feel like someone here is just very manipulative, very narcissistic. When you see the devil, the magician, and the king of swords in reverse in one reading, and the six of pentacles, it, this could be like someone that likes to breadcrumb uh, emotionally or mentally. Like, you know what I'm saying? This some person that gives and takes away as a form of abuse, okay? As a form of abuse to get someone uh, in their grip for the lack of a better word, to get someone hooked on them, okay? Spirit, tell me about cancer, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for cancer, please. Whoa. The Justice card, Libra Energy, and the World card. Cancer, I feel like this is a karmic cycle that you need to shut out, okay? Um, I feel like with temperance under the deck, Sagittarian energy, Libra energy here, I feel like you need to do a lot of healing here. With the hanged man, this was clarifying the hanged man. I feel like this is a relationship that you had in your life, Cancer, where there was a lot of sacrifice, a lot of pain, and you're going to realize that that it is the right thing to do to shut out this karmic cycle. You know, the, the justice card is a representation of karma. You reap what you sow. And with the world card, that is you understanding that the person that hurts you deserves to be shut out of your life, okay? And you deserve peace. Tell me about this eight of wands in the reverse. The four of swords. I feel cancer that with the queen of swords energy... Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Spirit is advising you not to move towards this situation, to heal, to recover, and to protect yourself. Tell me about the King of Swords in the reverse. Five of Swords in the reverse. Cancer, I feel that with the Nine of Swords here, Spirit is telling you that if this person sabotages the connection with you, let it be the last time. Because with this Nine of Swords energy, it's a consistent loop that is going round and round and round, and it is costing you sleep, peace of mind. It's causing you a tremendous amount of pain. You're crying all night long. This is somebody who has really put you through hell. This is someone who has really put you through hell. And with the Five of Swords in the reverse and the King of Swords in the reverse, this is someone that leaves in such a way that they make it clear like they're not coming back. And it hurts you, okay? Four of Pentacles. We've got the Tower, Aries, Scorpionic Energy. And we have the Two of Swords. Cancer, I feel... Yeah, see, we've got the world card, we've got the wheel of fortune, and we've got karma. So the tables are going to turn on this person because they're about to get a really big shock here. They're about to get a really big shock here, I think, Cancer, because I feel like they're coming back with the five of swords, but you may shut them out. Like they may not get the response that you want, five of swords and the three of wands in the reverse. As a matter of fact, Cancer, I feel like this person is coming back around because you're not seeking them. You're not chasing this person anymore. Um, I feel like you're cutting that energetic cord. You're closing the karmic cycle and learning your lesson and trying to heal. And this person is sensing that. They sense that, you know, they walked away, they sabotaged the connection, and you're not sad or you're not chasing or you are just ready to shut the door on this okay tell me about the nine of cups for cancer we've got the eight of cups and the five of wands cancer i feel like you're coming to an awakening that it's time to emotionally disconnect from the drama it's time to stop fighting for somebody that treats you like an option it's time to stop fighting for somebody i feel like someone here has made you feel so unsafe and so insecure that that you are it's actually hitting you here that you are falling out of love with somebody okay that you are falling out of love with somebody and I feel like it's going to come as a shock to this person because this is the game that they play to trap people, to get people caught up in that abusive cycle. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my cancers. Tell me about the challenge here for cancer. Tell me about the challenge here for cancer. 
Okay. So we've got the Fool card, Aries energy, Five of Wands in the reverse, and the Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. The challenge here is Cancer... The challenge is going to be this person finding out that you're moving on and not caring. Two of Pentacles and the Tower. Like someone here is not sure if they should really let this fall. So I feel like this King of Swords in the reverse is like, oh well. You know, Cancer's really moving on. Should I let them just go? You know what I'm saying? Like, sh should I just let them go? Should I care? Or should I, you know, try to keep them so I can continue playing my game? Let's see here. Tell me about the full card. Page of Swords. Again, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy, Cancer. This person's watching you. Five of Wands in the reverse. And the Page of Wands. Leo, Sag, Aries, Energy. They're not talking as of yet, Cancer. This person's not talking and they're not fighting for you, okay? But an apology is coming in. An apology is going to come in when you least expect it. It's going to kind of blow you away because you're going to be like, really? Wow, now you're coming in with an apology? I feel like this person has been watching you. They've been watching your journey as you move on. I feel like they have not been speaking to you. They've, they haven't been fighting for the connection, but they're watching. Tell me about this Page of Swords and the King of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. And the Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. Cancer, if you started dating someone very quickly, this person is watching you. Or, Cancer, this person's running, rushing in to offer higher levels of commitment. Like, but it's going to happen out of nowhere. Like, this person, you haven't heard from them, and then boom, out of nowhere, they want to come back and offer these high levels of commitment. So let's see here. Tell me about the outcome. <coughs> between cancer and this person please tell me about the outcome here between cancer and this person please okay so we have the page of cups cancer scorpio pisces energy we have the four of wands and we have the two of swords so cancer we've got the strength card leo energy oh boy cancer Strength card, Leo energy, the King of Wands, Sag, Aries energy, and the Six of Cups. Cancer, the past is coming back around. They're coming back around out of nowhere to offer you high levels of commitment. High levels of commitment. And when they do, Cancer, I feel like you're not going to know what to do. Because this person's telling you, this King of Wands is telling you, I want to work on things with you with the Page of Pentacles. I'm sorry, you're my queen, you're my king. You know, I want a Ten of Pentacles with you with the Five of Cups. I'm sorry. This person is, you know what I'm saying? They're going to come in very humble. They're going to come in very respectful. They're going to come in out of nowhere. Um, you think that this person has just disappeared off the face of the earth. Like, really? You left? You weren't coming back? You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you were just gone but they weren't gone this person has been watching you the whole time so for those of you who are like gina i haven't heard from this person in forever you haven't heard from them it doesn't mean that they're not watching you it doesn't mean that they don't know what you're up to and there's so many different ways to do that nowadays they could make ghost accounts they could be asking through friends they could you know what i'm saying so Cancer, this is someone that you thought was completely out of your life, but they're not. They're not. They're they're rushing in now for high levels of commitment. And with that two of swords, you're not going to know what to do. Page of cups here for Cancer. The Empress in the reverse. Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy. Four of wands. And the eight of wands. Cancer, someone here is coming in to apologize for not putting you on a pedestal, for not appreciating you as the emperor or empress that you are. And 
with the eight of wands and the four of wands, this person is going to talk a lot about getting married. They're going to talk a lot about moving in. They're going to talk a lot about high levels of commitment. They're going to talk about how you guys are soulmates. Um, this person is rushing in for a new beginning cancer. Knight of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. And that Ace of Pentacles is big. That Ace of Pentacles is commitment. It's a big promise. It's something tangible. They may be bringing a gift with them, Cancer. Tell me about the Two of Swords and the Two of Cups in the reverse. So, Cancer, you may, with the Three of Cups here, you may be dating someone new at the time, and you're going to have to make a decision on what relationship you want to cut off, okay? So, for those of you who are seeing somebody and this ex comes back, you have to make a decision between new and old, or you have to make a decision as to whether or not you want a relationship with this person. Do you want to let them back into your heart space? Yeah, do you want to heal things with this person? Because they're coming back with a very... I'm, I'm just feeling like a very humble... And they're, they're going to come back with an energy cancer. Let me just tell you, this strength card talks about wanting something and trying to use your higher self to refrain from going towards it. Okay, so I feel like this ex is going to come back looking hot, looking sexy, looking juicy, saying whatever you want to hear, promising whatever you want to hear, giving you everything you've ever wanted, your wish fulfillment, you know, with with a cake and a cherry on top and all that good stuff. And it's going to be hard for you to resist. It's going to be hard for you to resist this ex because they're offering everything that you wanted. And not only that, Cancer, but... Again, this is someone that liked to sabotage, give and take away. So it's like this constant craving for this person's love. Do you see what I'm saying? So when they come back around offering that love that you've been craving for, it's like a drug addiction. Do you understand what I'm saying? It becomes like a drug addiction. Um, you know, it's, it's like being addicted to... It's like being addicted to the idea of this person finally loving you. Do you understand what I'm saying, Cancer? Um, and that and that's coming in. So now what you have is like your fix just hanging in front of you and you, you, you want it, but you're like, wait a minute, you know, this, this, and that. So you're kind of on the fence, but it is something that you want. It's just something that, you know, either you're going to have to choose between two people or you really have to sit down and make the decision with yourself. Do I really want this relationship? So... Let's take it into the extended. Let's see what their true feelings, intentions, actions, outcome is going to be. Let's see what's coming towards you. Um, you know, if uh, if you do have two, you know, situations here, should you choose new? Should you choose old? And we'll pull some oracle. Okay. I love you so much, guys. The link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below. Take care, my loves.